Welcome back to the Smelly Telly. Today we're going to be learning how to play I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. This is one that was voted in specifically by all of you viewers out there. It was in the polls and you guys picked it. So this one's for you. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you want the tabs, you can head over to Patreon. You're going to get the tabs and the practice tracks there. That's enough talking. Let's go play some guitar. First thing we want to talk about is making sure we're muting the strings with the side of our palm here. We're going to put the side of the palm right on the bridge of the guitar so you want to lay that palm in there you don't want to be too far up the neck because you'll get a muted sound you won't get any kind of musical sound out of it you want to back up your palm so you start to hear the the note come out there you know, you don't want to go too far back because you'll get the note ringing uh, completely untouched we want to take out some of that and deaden the sound a little bit. It makes a little bit of a darker sound, and uh, that's what we're going for right now. So the big thing with uh, I Walk the Line is how Luther Perkins walks the bass line. Uh, in a lot of this, we're strumming a chord between each of the bass line notes, and some of these walk-ups will skip playing that chord that uh, gets played alternately between the bass notes. Um, but I want you to focus on the bass notes here. So... To start out, the song starts like this. So, what we want to do is we want to walk up to our first A chord. We're going to start with a low E, second fret, fourth fret, and the a note you're going to put your chord down with your fretting hand and then you're going to play your chord low e chord now we're going to walk up to the e so we got an open a note then we got an open a second fret a fourth fret then we're to the d chord open d play your chord open a strum your chord open e now we're going to walk down to the a Open D, 4th fret A, 2nd fret A, open A, strum your chord, 2nd fret D, strum your chord, A, now we're going to walk down to the E chord, A, 4th fret E, 2nd fret E, open E, strum your chord, 2nd fret A, strum your chord, 2nd fret A, now we're going to go to the B7. We're going to play an open E, 2nd fret, open E. Then put the B7 chord down with the fretting hand, 2nd fret, A. Strum your chord, 1st fret D, strum your chord, 2nd fret A. Now we're going to walk down to the E chord, open A, 4th fret E, 2nd fret E, open E. Strum your chord, 2nd fret A. We got open E, second fret A, E, second fret A, E. This is a B note, B, E, B, E, B, E. So when we do this lesson, this is how I'm going to teach this. I'm going to talk the bass lines. We're not going to highlight every single chord strum, okay? And the reason we're doing that is because Luther Perkins' bass notes in this are the key. The strums, um, if you're a more advanced player, they should be easy for you to pick up. If you're a beginner, just yeah. learning the bass notes and how they walk is going to be uh, just fine for getting through the song. So as we approach the first verse, we're going to play the B7. Uh, so we got I keep a close, second fret A, first fret D. 2nd fret A, 1st fret D, then we're going to go to the E chord, open E, 2nd fret A, open E, 2nd fret A, I keep my 2nd fret A, eyes, 1st fret D, 2nd fret A, 1st fret D, 
Back to the E chord. Open E. Second fret A. Open E. Then we're going to walk up to the A. We got the second fret of the low E. Fourth fret E. Then we got the A note. Open E. A note. Second fret D. Then we got the E chord again. Open E. Second fret A. Open E. Second fret A. Then a B7. Second fret A. First fret D. Second fret A. D. Then we back to the E chord. Open E. Second fret E. Then we walk up to the next uh, key. So we're going to the key uh, of A. We're going to play the open E. Second fret E. Fourth fret E. Then we got A. Okay. Let's play that verse together nice and slow. Uh, I'm going to strum the chords between the bass notes. Uh, again, if you're a beginner, just worry about the bass notes. Don't worry about strumming the chords. If you're more advanced and you want uh, something that's a little bit more challenging, go ahead and flat pick this out. Uh, play your bass notes and alternate with the strums. Okay, let's take this together nice and slow. Okay? One, two, three, four. First verse. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time For it be ends out for the tide that bites Because you're mine I walk the line Walk up to the next scale Next key, I'm sorry Now let's go to the uh, the second verse here. Okay, the second verse sounds like this. I find it very, very easy to be true. I find myself alone when each day's through. Yes, I'll admit that I'm a fool for you because you're mine. I walk the line. Okay, and in this verse, uh, we're going to start out with the low E. We're going to alternate between the E and the second fret of the A. So I find it very, very easy to be. Then we go to the A chord. True. Now, you might think it's easier just to continue with the same pattern on the E chord where you go low E to the second fret A. But. Luther goes from the 2nd fret A to the low E here. Okay, that's a change. That's a very interesting thing that he did. It makes it interesting to listen to because instead of what you expect, you get this. Very subtle difference. Not huge, but you'll notice it when you listen to the record. So, 2nd fret of the A, open E, 2nd fret of the A, back to your A chord, open A, open E, open A, now we're going to walk up to the D chord with a 2nd fret A, 4th fret A, then we get the open D, open A, D, A, and then on the A chord, instead of playing the A note like he did with the E chord, he's going to play the 2nd fret of the D. Okay, so 2nd fret D, open A, 2nd fret D, then he's going to go to the E chord with the 2nd fret of the A, open A, then the open E, 2nd fret A, open E, 2nd fret A, then back to the A chord. Then we're going to walk up to the D, open A, 2nd fret a, 4th fret A, then we're at the D chord.
And all that is is the D note alternating with the A note. D, A, D, A, D, A, D, A. Okay, let's play the uh, second verse nice and slow together. Two, three, four. Here we go. I find it very, very easy to be true. Second fret of the A for the E chord. A. Up to D. Second fret D for the A chord. D A D A D A. Third verse. As sure as night is dark and day is night, I keep you on my mind both day and night. And happiness, I know, proves that it's right because you're mine. I walk the line. Okay, so to play that, we're starting with the D chord and we're going to the A. So we got. We talked about the D alternating with the A note already. Then we're going to go to the A chord. A. We're going to alternate with the second fret of the D. Okay, so that looks like this A, second fret, D. A, second fret, D. Then we just get the D chord again with the alternating D note and A note. Back to A, second fret D, A, second fret D, D note, A, D. Then we got the G chord. The G is going to be the third fret of the E, then the open D, third fret of the G, second fret A. Back to the D chord, D and A alternating. Then we're going to walk down to the A chord, 4th fret A, 2nd fret A, open A, 2nd fret D. Back to the D chord. Then the walk to the A chord on the 4th verse. This is a new, It's. I mean it's the same walk down, but instead of uh, going straight into it, he's going to play the A note, 4th fret A, 2nd fret A. So what's interesting to me about that is instead of just going, he goes, he kind of throws that pickup note of the next chord, the A, to walk you into that walk-in. Ah, I don't know. It's cool. Okay, and then we were just playing A, alternating with the second fret of the D string, going into the fourth verse here. The fourth verse sounds like this. You've got to be to keep me on your side. You give me cause for love that I can't hide. For you I know I'd even try to turn the tide. Cause you're mine. I walk the line. So this one's actually pretty straightforward. There's not too many changes happening here. So when you hit the first E chord, you've got a E. Alternate with the second fret of the A. E, second fret A. Then we go to the A chord, just to open A. Second fret D. Then we've got the E chord again, same alternating. Open E, second fret A. Open E, second fret A. Then we're back to the A chord. Open A, 2nd fret D, open A. Then we're going to walk up to the D chord. 2nd fret A, 4th fret A, open D, A, D, A. Then we're back to the A chord. 
A, second fret D, A, and then we're going to go down to the E chord. Second fret A, open A, then we play the E, second fret A, E, second fret A, A chord, A, second fret D. Then we're going to walk down to the final key, open A, 4th fret E, 2nd fret E, then we're back to the E chord. Okay, and after alternating between the low E and the 2nd fret of the A, we are going to open up with the B7 chord, and we're going to alternate between 2nd fret A and the 1st fret of the D. So I keep a close watch on this heart of E chord. Second fret A, E, second fret A, B7, alternate between second fret A and first fret. Open all the E and alternate with the second fret of your A. Then we're going to walk up to the A chord, 2nd fret E, 4th fret E, A chord, and we're going to alternate with the 2nd fret of the D. So here comes the A chord. Keep the ends out for the time that... Back to the E, alternate with the 2nd fret of your A, binds, because you're... B chord, alternate with the 1st fret of your uh, D, 2nd fret A. Okay, here we go. Because you're mine, I walk the E chord. Then the song just fades out. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four.